Before we get started, save yourself a little time by measuring your existing tie rod. This will give you a good starting point for your toe setting. Now another option would be to lay the existing tie rod end on the ground next to the new heavy duty steering and simply match them up lengthwise before you install. Use a 21 millimeter and loosen each of the tie rod end nuts on the tie rod end drag link. Leave the nuts started to protect the threads and your body when you knock that assembly loose. We used another hammer for a bigger target and to just guard those boots against damage. A direct hit works just as well. When it comes to the rod end, the steering gear and pitman arm, you need to be careful. We don't want to damage the steering gear by pounding it so hard that you damage the internals of that steering gear. When the proper tool is unavailable, the rod end can still be removed by using a heavy hammer on the opposite side of the pitman arm to buck or absorb some of the shock load from the hammer strike. For a little easier access, turn the wheel to the passenger side and remove the stabilizer shock nut using an 18 millimeter. Then remove the stabilizer shock from the tie rod. Remove the tie rod assembly and drag link. Install the drag link with the adjusting sleeve closest to the steering gear. With the tie rod pre-adjusted to somewhere close to your original length, reinstall it. Use a six millimeter Allen and a 21 millimeter wrench. Now there's a torque spec of 63 pounds, so they need to be tight. Double check your tie rod toe adjustment and then tighten the jam nuts if you need to drive to an alignment shop. We did our install on an alignment rack so we won't be driving the Jeep, so we only hand tighten the jam nuts. We loosened the drag link adjusting sleeve clamps and just slid them out of the way so that we could easily adjust the steering wheel. By doing a quick measurement of our original drag link and matching the length on the new link, it'll give you a good ballpark for steering wheel adjustment. Be sure to straighten your steering wheel before driving to the alignment shop. The ABS really hates a crooked steering wheel and your dash will do the Christmas tree thing. Reinstall the stabilizer shock. Now with the wheels turned full right, the shock should be just shy of totally collapsed at this position. Push the shock to full collapse then pull it back out just a quarter of an inch or so just so it doesn't bottom out at full turn. Using your oversized shock mount, double check for clearance and shock travel, then final tighten. 